Hi, I'm Janice. I'm Liz. We're registered dietitians and the Meal Makeover Moms. And right now we're making our favorite chocolatey pumpkin bars. And I'll tell you, this is a great recipe if you're looking for a dessert or a snack. And we know kids snack a lot. In fact, research shows that kids snack nearly 850 times a year. That's a lot of snacks. Yeah, and they don't always eat healthy snacks. So this is a really exactly. great recipe. It's sweet, it's yummy, kid-friendly, and nutritious. You know, you there. can get... 45% of your vitamin A for the day in one serving of this. So if your kids don't eat vegetables, this is a good recipe too because the pumpkin really kicks up that good nutrition. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's start. We've got our dry ingredients. We have a cup of flour and we have a cup of whole wheat flour. In almost any recipe, you can substitute half of the flour with whole wheat. You get a little extra fiber and nutrition. This is a cup of finely ground chopped pecans. You see how fine those are? So if your kids don't like nuts or they don't think they like nuts in their food, just chop them very fine. We have three quarters of a cup of sugar. Don't be afraid of a little sugar as long as it comes along with good nutrition. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we have two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to whisk this all together. We don't want any lumps of baking soda in our dish. So we're just going to whisk this well. And then Liz, why don't you start with our wet ingredients? Okay, we have four eggs and we're using omega-3 eggs. And these you can find in any supermarket. Basically they are from chickens, fed a special diet. Sometimes, oh, I don't know, Ground flax, flax seeds, seed, flax some... seed, a little sea algae. Sounds weird. But you know, salmon is a good source of omega-3. You always hear about that, but you can buy omega-3 eggs and get some of these hard, healthy fats that way. They cost a few pennies more, but I'm telling you, you can find them in any supermarket. They don't taste any different. So we've got the four eggs. Then you're gonna add canola oil. You can use half a cup of canola oil in this recipe. And you know, for all of your baking recipes, if you want to substitute the solid fats, the butter, the shortening, the margarine, you can use canola oil instead. So you use just three quarters of a cup of canola for each one cup of solid fat in your recipes. We're gonna add a quarter cup of milk. We've got low fat milk here. And then, this is your star ingredient. We're gonna add a can of pureed pumpkin. This is gorgeous, look at that. It's so orange and pretty. Now, whisk in the pumpkin until everything is well combined. Josh loves this recipe. Actually, all our kids love the recipe. Yes. He takes it for a snack, he puts it in his lunchbox, he has it when he gets home from school. It's just so good. To finish the recipe, mix the liquid ingredients into the dry ingredients, along with half a cup of mini chocolate chips. Finally, spread the batter in a jelly roll pan, sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. Okay, we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven. And that'll That'll be there for about 25 minutes. And when it's done, this is what it will look like. Our snack makeover hits the spot with my son, Josh. Of course, I love the fact that with every bite, he's eating his vegetables. 